so everybody knows who we are and where we came from. In the 1860s, the first black settlers moved to a small town in Macosta County called Remus. More than 150 years later, the area's rich black history has not been forgotten. And the ancestors of those first settlers have made it their mission to make sure their stories live on. 9 in 10's Christine Canerva shows us how they're keeping history alive. After the Civil War, a lot of people escaped and came up there. In the mid-1800s, thousands of African-Americans settled in central and northern Michigan. We settled the land. We owned logging camps. Um, we were homesteaders like everybody else. We, we came because the draw was to own land, you know, and to farm and make a living. James Guy was the first documented black settler in Macosta County in 1861. His deed was signed by Abraham Lincoln himself, giving him 160 acres in Wheatland Township, Remus. People don't realize that at one time, Remus was settled by black people, and that's always kind of been pushed under the rug. In 1869, the Wheatland Church of Christ was built by Thomas Cross, becoming a centerpiece in the community, and still is to this day. But just like in every other black community the main meeting area is the church many of the old settlers are buried at the west wheatland morgan cemetery along with 13 black civil war veterans when you walk through the cemetery you can see generations six to seven generations in there now more than 150 years later a nonprofit called the old settlers reunion continues the history of their ancestors you know they've heard about idlewild they've heard about baldwin but they have no idea that there were black people that actually settled and lived in the central Michigan area. So why not keep the history going? In Macosta County, Christine Canerva, 9 and 10 News.